My friends, Yom Kippur summons us not only to return to God, it also summons us to return to one another. For transgressions between the individual and God, repentance on Yom Kippur brings atonement. For transgressions between us and other human beings, Yom Kippur brings no atonement until the injured party is reconciled. In many faiths, a verbal confession to a religious cleric is all that is needed to be forgiven. On Yom Kippur, however, there is the arduous task of going back to the person you harmed to apologize, to seek forgiveness, to make amends. The heart of the Yom Kippur service is the vidoy, the two-part confessional. The recitation of transgressions we committed that fill us with remorse for which we ask God to forgive us. This confessional prayer lists 44 sins. Of these, no fewer than 10 are sins of speech. What care we must exercise in our manner of using words who does not know their fateful power? The tongue is in a very wet place, and it is so easy for it to slip. How often do we inflict with our tongue the kind of blows which burn deeper and hurt so much longer than any physical blow we can inflict? Many of us who wouldn't dream of lifting a hand against another human being think nothing of inflicting damaging blows with our tongues. Yom Kippur and its confessional prayers remind us that at all times, in every circumstance, Words are holy, words are not cheap, that words matter. Shana tova and gemar chatima tova to you and to your loved ones.